Hi folks, welcome to Beer and Board Games, where we hope that you're freshly changed and powdered because we are about to get colicky as we play Babies and Broadswords. Wah! Babies and Broadswords is a whimsical RPG where you get to play baby characters who run around and have fun. And right now, I would like to sit right here and have a beer. Nelson Namakon from the Mason Ale Works. Ah. It's like Necronomicon, but it's Nelson. Nelson Namakon. Ha <laughs> ha! I guess it would be ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> oh no, I lost my mind in an unending fit of horror. Who is that elder thing, Smithers? I like the cut of his jib. Why, that's the author tip, sir. Hmm, hire him immediately. Uh, sir. <laughs> he is liable to cause insanity among the workers. Excellent. <laughs> My name is Herbert West. I reanimate the dead. <laughs> Don't! Oh. Oh. Hmm. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, oh, No, yeah. no, no. This tastes like soap. No, it doesn't. It tastes like soap. You're drinking the foam. I don't yeah. like that. I don't like that. I don't like it. It doesn't taste like soap. Only, soap! Only a dope thinks it's soap. Mm -mm. You'll get used to it. Just keep No, I don't it. want it. Have two more sips. No. Two more sips and call me in the morning. No. Just try it one more time. You'll like it. Big swig. More, please. Imagine you know everything you know now, but you're four, and a goblin, and there's magic, and easy access to sharp things, and no parents. Now you've got the gist of Babies and Broadswords. Thanks to Babies and Broadswords for sponsoring this episode. Tony is going to be our game master for this. Yes, which I believe in this game is called The Sitter. Sure, that yeah. checks <laughs> out. And we're all going to be baby characters. My class is I am a punchy kicker. My name is Susie. With two E's. I'm the Mommy's Little Helper class. My name is Baby Ray. When we were setting up our characters, I rolled all ones. So my stats aren't looking too good. But I do have a perk of a fartful dodger. It gives me plus two to a crafty skill. And I'm overly curious and stubborn. My name is Barry. I'm a baby barian. And I'm a stubborn, I'm, I'm a stubborn, I'm a stubborn screamer. Nax, big boned, plus one beefy steel challenge. I, if I do any beefy skill challenges, I'm going to be able to knock it out of the park. I also have a bonus to beefy skills. Beefy brothers? <laughs> well, I'm a girl. <laughs> beefy twins? Beefy twins. Activate form of beef. Shape of beef. <laughs> All right, you've got uh, one more roll to set up your characters, and that roll is going to determine the amount of cookies you start with. Uh, cookies can be used for a multiple variety of things in this game. They're points to spend as well as currency to barter with other babies, because babies love cookies. You're going to roll 1d6 and add 3. Oh, that's a 6. Nine You're starting with cookies. Nine cookies. I got... Look at that! Another one! <laughs> you gotta oh, stop rolling dude. that die. You are gonna get four cookies. Five cookies to start with. And I thought in the spirit of the game uh, that I would give you all some actual oh, cookies. Wow. Oh my god! Oh. You are all three denizens of Lady Chastity's home for unwanted children and other errors of judgment. Oh. A fine upstanding institution in which nothing is wrong with the children. I'm normal. The orphanage has seen better days, yet you make a do. I like paint chips. It's just another day in the orphanage when suddenly there's a disturbance. Somebody is pushing kids out of the way, coming in your direction, and you've got to get out of the way or you're gonna get thrown down. <clears throat> so I'm gonna need you to make a nimble skill challenge. Can I just go beefy on this fucker? <laughs> get him? Beef through it. I'm gonna beef through it. <laughs> beef him up? Yeah. Can, can we can we beef together? <laughs> beef him? Barry, he has the beefs. <laughs> so you are going to roll one die. You are going to add uh, your adventurous points to it. You got no problem skirting out of the way of this numbnuts. 
three. Susie? Adventurousness is a five, and yep. I'm rolling and adding five to it. That's a nine. Nine. All right, and? I start at a three. And we got... <laughs> you are... What is wrong with you? You can't keep rolling one. Can't tell me what to do. You're going to die. Your character's going to... We have another character as soon as this one dies. It's... You are indeed slow. Fortunately, you have friends who drag you out of the way just in time for yet another baby to push its way through the crowd. Whoa. This is one of the most fearsome babies at the orphanage. You can tell because it's naked, except for a mask and a pair of roller skates. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the way! Get out of the way, fools! It kind of looks like this. It... It does. The baby. <laughs> I guess it's that kind of orphanage. I got a problem with you! That's Baby Cookie. I've heard about her. She's famous. They say she's unadoptable. They say that she does the rounds. <laughs> they say she... Oh! I fell. <laughs> baby Cookie shoves past you uh, over to a little lizard baby named Iski. And uh, she grabs him by his tail and starts pulling it. Give me the map! Where's my map? Fool. And Iski's just like, I, I don't know. I don't know what kind of map you're talking about. Oh, don't you say that. I heard about it. I think that's a shakedown. Shakedown. Go ahead and give it to her. Shakedown. All right. Stop it with your singing. You're interrupting my ferocity. I'm sorry, baby cookie. Yeah, you better be. I'm sucking my thumb. Who got the map, huh? And the little lizard baby says, Elysia. Alicia has the map. Oh, you smart. You learn how to talk all of a sudden. Baby Cookie drops the little lizard baby, uh, starts skating away. I throw uh, a mug at the lizard baby. I throw shade at the lizard baby. I Iski, the lizard baby is, come on, what do, you, what do you have to do that for? Tell us what the adventure is, Iski. Oh. I assume that's what you're here for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your introduction to your eventual goals. <laughs> okay, good. You gotta help me, guys. You gotta help me get this treasure map for Cookie. We're finding a treasure map. Okay, yeah. let's do it. Eliza's my best friend. I can't believe I sold her out. Eliza! She saw the tiny little scamps. You you know that the tiny little scamps are a gang of vicious children who, uh, who roam, roam the orphanage. Eliza doesn't actually have the map. She told me that she saw the tiny scamps bury treasure by the sandbox and make a map to the treasure. There is a map. Yeah. We have to go find the tiny scamps and take the map from them. Yeah. Done. Thanks. Yeah, I, uh, look, I, if I can do anything for you guys, you just you let me know. Slap. Ah, <laughs> I'll take that. Let's go check out the sandbox. It's a good time to check out the sandbox because you hear the bell ringing for recreation time. So it's time for all the kids to go outside to the yard. Baby Cookie is roller skating out in the yard, menacing kids, shaking them down. Shake down! Go ahead, give it to me. I can hear you from the other side of the yard! Uh oh. I am not in Baby Cookie's good graces right now, you, you guys. You better stop referencing songs or she's gonna kick your ass. Why don't you silence your phone during a stream? <laughs> <laughs> We're having a fun time playing Babies and Broadswords, and you can get your own copy of this game at Amazon or at Drive Through RPG. Those links are in the description. Go check them out. I just heard like a creaking door. It's probably an intruder. Oh, yep, I was right. Whoops. Hi, baby cookie. I was in the crawl space listening to what you was just doing. Uh huh. Slander! Mischaracterization! Yep. Ignominiously! What? In the ministry. <laughs> yeah, in the ministry. Hey, don't even stop me, big boy. I'm just I'm Big just, fool. I'm just doing my job. Your job. You look like you're working at Jiffy Lube. <laughs> now get up. You didn't have my permission to use my IP. The makers of Babies and Broadswords are big fans of yours. They actually mm -hmm. gave you your own character class in the game. Nobody yeah. else has this but you. Never consulted. You are officially a straight up G. And my IP. Abused. <laughs> I could eat a cookie. Yeah. Can you put it up to my lips? Because my hands don't work. Right. Yeah. Oh, it's so tasty. Ow. Mm. Cookie, you bit Adam. I drank the blood of the living. 
Now I will walk to ice for one more year. <laughs> All right, well, this has been... Well, it hasn't been fun. It's been really <laughs> aggravating. But I gotta go. I gotta go home and call my lawyer. What's your lawyer's name? Baby Esquire. <laughs> A tiny at baby law. You but have you heard of ambulance chasers? Yeah. He a stroller chaser. <laughs> Baby Esquire, I got him on speed dial. Oh, I can't wait to see the TV Can we go commercial. Call, yeah. Have you been injured in an accident? <laughs> then call Baby Esquire <laughs> on my little pink toy phone. <laughs> I can read the first five letters of the alphabet and I will help you. See you later. Let's in the court. Let us know. <laughs> Gonna take you to the cleaners. Okay, I pick up a flat rock and I whiz it at I- Ishii's head. <laughs> Good. I'm going to consider that a non-combat action. Because, Ow! I deserved it. Who is the nearest baby that's not us and not Ishii? It's the weird kid. I go up to the weird kid. He's in a purple robe. It looks like he has a beard. It's actually a dirty mop head tied around his face. And he's got large, thick glasses. Hey there, weird kid. What's up? Hey. How you doing? I uh, I got a question for you. Yeah. You're wearing you, glasses, so that. What must, do you want to know? That must mean you're, you're smart. I'm kind of an expert. How do I get in with the tiny little scamps? I want to join. They're treacherous. That's fine. They stabbed me. Yes. Just give what me you, give me the information. What are you going after the scamps for? That is for me to know and for you not to find out. Is it about the treasure? Maybe. <laughs> you got lying on that map. I made a map. Do you want it? Yeah. We will take it by force. Don't. I attack the weird kid. <laughs> <laughs> he steps away from you, reaches into his dirty purple robe, and hands you a rolled up piece of paper. I take the paper. I think we're the new scamps. I think we are. All right, we go find a shady corner of the yard and we look at this map. It's written in crayon. Sure. It says, Hal's Amazing Map. It's the layout of the orphanage. Through the eyes of an insane person. Okay. Can I make a roll? I would say make a braiding roll for that, yeah. Yes. Six. Wow, that's a nine. nine. This map is utter shit. Okay. This map was made by an idiot. Does it say anything about the treasure on it? It does say treasure question mark next to the sandbox. The other intel that we've got suggested the same thing. Nice. Check next to the sandbox. Is there a reason for us to split up? Two should be distractions while the other one digs for... The treasure. Sure. I'm not good at anything. So you'd be good at distracting people. Right. Okay. Can you dig? I can dig. We're both beefy. I'm stubborn and I scream and I throw things. That's probably a good distraction. Okay. I'm going to run as fast as my fat little baby legs will carry me over to the sandbox. I'm going to jump in head first. Whee! Thud. When you pull your head out of the sand, you see two shady looking kids at the side of the sandbox Uh completely surprised by you and you recognize them by the way they're dressed by the shifty attitude two of the tiny scamps what up scamps this is our sandbox you can't play in here you need to get out of here right now i attacked both of them (laughs) oh my gosh it's time to get into combat just 1d6 for that's a two your order 1d6 in 1d6 in what did you get this time a two oh you're moving up i'm evolving there it is I got a four. You are going to be going first in combat. Now, during combat, you can take up to three actions. You can do a big thing, a little thing, and a moving thing. Yeah. A big thing is something like attacking an enemy using a special ability or using a knack. A little thing is eating a cookie, picking up an item. Moving is uh, moving from one range to another. And we don't really do distance, we do three ranges in combat. Flailing range, spitting range, and flinging range. Matt, you are within flailing range. I'm range. gonna move into flailing range. Alrighty. I'm gonna use my special ability. No, no, no! You gotta mark down two tummy aches on your character sheet. The Barbabian works themselves into a particularly foul mood and gets one extra attack as a little thing at half damage. Yeah. So you go, ah! And then you go, ah. You are going to roll 1d6 to attack, add any class or knack-related bonuses. 4 plus 10. Wow. Uh, they uh, 
that is a hit. Oh, you rough you rough kid number one up pretty bad. Yeah. And you get to make that second attack and for I half to, damage. I'm gonna push him on the ground. That's gonna be an eight. All right, you push him back onto the ground. Yes. He's gasping for air. Get on the ground, scamp. He's got a stick. You might get some ouchies. He's got a stick. Yep, and he thwacked you. You're taking an ouchie. Big deal, I got 10. I'm a punchy kicker, so I'm gonna punch. That is a seven. Oh, that is a thwack right in kid number two's gullet. Yeah, punch him in the throat. You're a mean baby. Baby Ray? Uh, I'm going to just cheer on the Beefy Brothers with my adorableness bonus. Go, go Beefy Boys. <laughs> why did we ever make friends why, Yeah, him? why are we friends with him? I don't know. Kid number one is on the ground. I sit on him. Is he done? He's done. They're both crying. It's no fun anymore. The sandbox is ours! You can have it! You can have the sandbox! Well, they run off, but they drop a few things behind them. As they run off, I, I do this. <laughs> they dropped a few things, but the most important thing yeah. is a, a little note. The note says, remember, secret hideout not under Old Rusty. Also, each of them was carrying two pieces of fancy loot. I say that you take one of those pieces of fancy loot and I take the other one and it's nothing. Yeah. Okay. They dropped a pack of three band-aids. These are good because each band-aid heals one ouchie. I could use a couple of these. Why don't you take the band-aids? I'll take whatever's left. What's the other loot? Give me the loot! Give me the loot! I'm a burr, burr, burr. The other loot <laughs> is a bag of uh, invisible grandpa's sweater candies. Invisible Ooh, grandpa. choking yeah, hazards. They are three pieces of candy. I'm gonna have you all make a crafty check. Fartful Dodger gives me plus two crafty. Oh my god, he rolled a six! Woo! Right. Eleven! Invisible grandpa's candies look good, but they actually suck. They're Ooh. butterscotch, and they're old. If you give this to an opponent, it will make them cranky. I'm going to put them in my special pouch. I'm going to withhold my knowledge of it for now. <laughs> oh, so we don't know this? No, you don't know this. To you, they're just like, oh, cool, free candy. Good. I'm glad. Do we know what Old Rusty is? Old Rusty is a big pile of scrap metal and crap that's at the edge of the construction site right next to the orphanage. I toddle on over there as fast as I can. Follow. I say very softly, wait, those candies are making me cranky. And then I follow. You're at the edge of Old Rusty. I point at Old Rusty and I go, eh. Honestly, it looks just like a big pile of crappy metal. At least it seems that way. But only by looking around a little bit can you really know for sure. Look around. Hey, I'm gonna need you to all to make a nosy check. Ooh, plus one. Six. <laughs> Back to your old ways, I see. That is a 10. You notice that everything is pretty much beat to shit around here, but there's one of those big like uh, metal cabinets with the hinge on it that looks a little nicer than everything else. Kind of stands out. I point at it and I go, <laughs> use your words. Go! You're opening the cabinet? Because it's, I, I it's, it's closed. Do, I just do whatever people point at. The back of the cabinet has a big hole cut in it, and there is a heavy wooden trap door on the inside. The door creaks on it, hinges, and it opens up. I scamper into the door. There's dim light inside. Baby Ray, I'm sorry I was mean to you before. Would you like a sweater candy? Oh, that's so sweet. I, you can have one. Thank you. It's free. I'm just going to pretend to eat it, but really put it in my pocket. Oh, I shouldn't have said that out loud. Why would you be pretending to eat a delicious candy? Well, there's something I didn't tell you. Eat it. I don't want to eat it. Why? Because they make you cranky, okay? What? And the room is empty, except for one baby in a mask. What are you fools doing here? We're here for the treasure, baby cookie. Oh no, it's my treasure, fair and square. We took, I beat up everybody to get it. We took out the tiny little scamps and now we're gonna take you out. You think you got what it takes? Give us the treasure cookie. You think you're ready to step to cookie? Everybody roll for initiative because it's time for combat. Oh, Give me a D6 roll. Two. Four. Four. Oh, cookie rolled a natural six. 
course oh, she God. did. So it's time for Cookie to attack. Uh -oh. And Cookie is going to come out swinging at Susie. Is your combined adventurousness uh, greater than a five? Oh, it is a five. Cookie's little fist just whizzes just past you, like within a centimeter of your nose. <laughs> what, Cookie? What? Oh, you fast! Is this a muscly challenge? Yes, this is a muscly challenge. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I get uh, whatever I roll plus six. Uh, seven. Cookie's taking a hit, taking an ouchie on that. What noise does she make? Oh! <laughs> Good. Adam? I'm going to throw the candies like caltrops in front of the roller skates. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, that is... Useless. That is some <laughs> Brad Knight bullshit right there. Oh, my God. I'm going to throw them like right. caltrops. I, yeah. I'm going to need you to make a crafty roll. Uh, ooh, that's an 11. You do manage to land your three candies right in the path of Baby Cookie's roller skates. Away! Ooh. That's going to uh, stymie her movement. Right. One of them catches right in the wheel and brings Baby Cookie to a screeching halt. Get her! All right, it's been at least a few hours since I've had a nap. I'm having a pre-nap tantrum. I get plus two to my weapon damage. Cause the tripped effect on a successful hit could work out. Give me two cookies, because it costs two cookies to activate that ability. Nine. That is a successful wow. hit. Baby Cookie is knocked to the ground. Yeah. The skates <sighs> are useless. I'm going to do one of my special abilities, Flurry of No-No Blows. Oh, so I'm going to hit an enemy in the no-no spot as hard as I can, resulting what? in double damage and one round of blindness. Oh my God. <laughs> and then I'm going to take two grumps. Give me a roll. Okay, so this is going to be plus six. Hold Eleven. On. You smack baby cookie <laughs> as hard as possible. I want to see your majestic pose that you do. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Not only have you completely taking out Baby Cookie's remaining health points with that attack. But you have also knocked her mask askance, so she can't see. This is ignominious! <laughs> I've never been so humiliated! We're taking the treasure, Cookie! Yeah, you can have it. Don't you tell nobody about this! I know where you live! It's in the same place as me! I roll her over onto her belly and I give her a good spanking. Ow! Ow! You freak! And I helped. You didn't. 